So I'm a member of this uh, Facebook group, uh, which is the FX3 group. And the thing is, uh, one of the guys there posted that uh, he had problems with this FX3 because when he tried to connect it to his Mac, it's not allowing him to stream. It had given as an error that uh, I'm going to flash the error somewhere around. Yeah, it has an error. And the thing is, uh, I'm like, yeah, it should work. So uh, I tried my A7 IV, and the thing is, the A7 IV has this... Uh, setting or and you can live stream it when once you plug a usb onto it you don't need that app you don't need anything it's just gonna ask you if you're gonna go streaming and when you click on the button the center button and it's gonna confirm it and your camera's good to go it's a webcam it's a pretty good web webcam webcam yeah webcam and uh yeah so uh i tried it on my fx3 and it's giving me an error it's uh something is popping up and it's saying it's like a conflict that somebody's using it already so I tried to look into the internet and uh, went to this big rabbit hole of things, wherein you there are lots of things that have been ha that's been happening, and I don't know what's causing it. It's either uh, Sony itself with it with their software, or is it Mac Mac or Apple? But uh, yeah, this is what I did uh, when I tried to use my FX3 on the new Ventura. You have to like I tried on Zoom, and this is how Zoom looks like. Uh, you just open it and uh, choose Sony Camera Im Imaging Edge. And whenever I do that, let me turn on my camera, uh, it gives me an error. And let me try it again. So choose that. And yeah, it gives me this error. Uh, failed to connect the camera due to conflict of function. So I've tried everything. Uh, I've also uh, did what one guy did was uh, to add it to screen recording or something on Mac. And some of them uh, try to disable Google Maps and everything. And uh, was it Google Drive? And uh, the other one was like a Dropbox. So at this point, it didn't work for me. I tried my best to look at everything. The only thing that did work was this. So you go to your activity monitor. look for ptp so it's the this one here which is called ptp camera add you just uh uh quit it so after quitting that one you go back here do that and then let me try again oh still giving me an error so it's not yet not quit yet so let me try that again force quit so there it is go there so yeah the camera is working so yeah the only way that, if, uh, that I can make it work is just trying to disable this uh, yeah so I'm about to up update to the Sonoma hopefully they got this fixed but uh, yeah that's how it is one thing I noticed also is I'm having problems when I'm using the new image imaging edge desktop when I'm using the old one which is that one, my other Mac, it's just fine. But this one here, yes, it's giving me problems. One of the things also I noticed is if I'm using the new app, which is this one, uh, the Imaging Edge Desktop, that's where the problem is. And if I'm using the old one, which is this, then uh, yeah, it should be fine. I didn't have problems with it, but I need to update that one just to get the new features in. So I tried to dig deeper into it, and it's a big rabbit hole that I went to. I've uh, seen a lot of posts, and some people are saying that if you just uh, turn off your Google Drive app or uh, your Dropbox app, and uh, it's going to work. So I've checked on my computer, and I don't have those apps on. So like I was wondering what's happening, and I keep on checking, and me being techy and everything, I found out that this certain app, which is PTP Camera Ad, which is uh, you can search, search it on the Activity Monitor, it's, it's giving it a conflict. So I tried to find ways to delete that thing. It's like a, a plugin wherein every time you turn on your Mac, it keeps on running. And uh, it's situated on your library uh, exe uh, la launch agents wherein it's been launched by, by Apple itself. So I'm saying Apple is the one who's having this. So it, it launches and it prevents your, your camera to be connected. So what you can do is you can just go to your activity monitor and uh, while your camera's connected, you try to uh, quit uh, that program. And when you quit that program, your camera goes on. And once your camera's working, it's like gonna take take over uh, the conflict that it's it's currently 
uh, the camera, not the, that PP camera trying to take over that port or something. So your camera works. But uh, the more annoying thing is that it keeps on coming back. Like, you need to turn it on, it, it's going to be there. It's just, yeah. So I have that under Ventura. And uh, just last night, I just updated to Sonoma. And Sonoma is another thing, but uh, I just diagnosed and checked. And at first, it was working, and then it was not. So it's still there. So I don't know where it come from. Uh, yeah, so the advice right now is uh, if that happens to you, you can just uh, go to your activity monitor, search for PTP camera ad, and then quick it. Uh, quick, no. Quick it, quick, quick, yeah, quick, quick. So yeah, that's it. There are lots of uh, other fixes online wherein you can also try to disable the security verb uh, of your Mac by uh, typing CSUR, CSR util. I'm gonna have that word somewhere. And you can just go CSUR, CSR util, uh, CSR util disable. So what's, how you do that is that you go to, your, to safe mode or you reboot your computer to safe mode, go to terminal, and then type that. But you can see other, you can search regarding that one. But the thing is, it's not recommended because it's like uh, stopping the security of your computer and your computer will be, will be vulnerable for that. Because the thing is, uh, it's not, it doesn't have those safeguards on your computer. So when I, when I did that, when I disabled it, it also disabled that uh, PTP camera ad. Uh, so yeah, it worked, but uh, yeah, it's annoying. And one uh, thing that I also noticed is that uh, I tried the uh, connecting the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I tried connecting the camera to my uh, uh, Mac M1 Air, and apparently that Mac Air does not have that program installed or that that uh, launch agent there. So it's just working fine. So I can't take it out of my Mac Studio because it's there. But on my Mac M1, it's not there. So it works. Works fine. No, no problems. So I don't know where that, where that thing come from. It could have been a, a program or an app that I installed that required uh, the camera. Or it could be like some Android program that I installed. But uh, bottom line is uh, it's there. And uh, I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Hope, hopefully there will be a... Good fix for that one, but yeah, I think everything's pointing to Apple to having that there. Anyway, that's enough for now. See so ya. Yeah. And by the way, that's spur of the moment, so uh, did prepare, and that's gonna sound like crap, but anyway.